welcome back to Gypsy's Creative Creations. My name is Stephanie and I will be showing you how to make a shovel wreath. So if you're new to my channel and love creative DIYs, please hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit that bell. That way you get a notification every single time I upload. Also remember to like, share, and comment down below. So I have not been uploading as much lately um, because of everything that's going on in the world currently. I hope everybody's staying safe. Um, but I have had a stomach bug off and on, and I've also just found out that I have plantar fasciitis. And for those of you that don't know, um, I've been in pain in my feet for almost a month. Um, and I finally found an uh, orthopedic doctor that would see me and come to find out that's what I'm having to deal with. So I have to do a lot of physical therapy and I have to wear these little funny things inside of my shoe. Um, so that's what I've been dealing with. So if the videos kind of trickle out slowly, I do apologize, um, but y'all just bear with me. Um, but what you'll need for today's project, I have found this at the Dollar Tree. Now I went the other day because I buy a lot of canned goods from them and I buy a lot of cleaning supplies from the Dollar Tree. Um, and we ran out of bleach and um, some of that awesome stuff that you put in your laundry detergent that I absolutely love to put in with our clothes. It helps with stains and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, so I found this rather large, I want to say it's a sand shovel for the beach. I just thought it was cute and unique and, um, I'm going to turn it into something rustic. So you'll need one of these shovels. You'll need some flowers of your choice. So I'm going to go with lavender and I just found these at the Dollar Tree, believe it or not. Um, they had white and purple. So I'm going to use a bundle of each. And then of course these greeneries that I love that have been at the Dollar Tree for a while before Easter. Um, they have a lot of yellows and purples and some of them have lavenders in them. So I'm just gonna use a, a couple of those bundles. Now for the, for the bow, I'm gonna be using a mixture of the lace and burlap, the chevron burlap, and then just the plain burlap. I'm gonna be using all three of these um, to make a bow. And also, I'm gonna paint the shovel because I really do want it to be a lot more rusty. So I'm gonna go with a white Waverly's chalk paint. Um, and I'm gonna use the brown, or I think this is called antique wax from Waverly's. Now, if you don't have this, you could use the white apple barrel from Walmart um, along with black paint or brown paint, but I wanted the hands to look more realistic. So I'm gonna paint it the brown color. Um, and then use the white for the shovel. Also for the middle part, I was going to put some type of lettering. So I was thinking about using this, this is at the Dollar Tree and it says home and you can easily remove this from the stand. And I was thinking about using that in there or maybe some of these letters. I'm not quite sure. Um, I want to see how everything else turns out as far as the floral and the bow to see how big it is before I add any type of lettering in here. Um, I was even considering using this little house with a ladybug. Um, these are little garden stakes that are out at the Dollar Tree. And this one just happened to have a flower in a little house. And I thought it was super cute. Um, and I might even put that in the middle. I just really want to see how the top's going to look before I add um, anything in the middle of the shovel. And you're also gonna need some of this cotton twine. You can also use this juke twine. It's completely up to you um, for the bow. Um, you'll need hot glue, a pair of scissors, a pair of wire cutters, and you'll need some floral wire. Um, and that's just to hang the flower and do the bows with, okay? So what we're gonna start off with is painting the shovel. So I'm gonna push everything off to the side. And I really like to put a piece of cardboard under anything that I paint. That way I don't paint my table. Um, and you'll need a foam brush from the Dollar Tree. And we're just going to foam brush this in, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and paint this and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so you can leave it completely white if you want to. But I'm going to paint the whole handle in this antique Waverly's paint. And I really don't know how dark I want to make it. So, because I didn't want to just leave that handle white and then the rest of it this wood color.
just to give it a little bit more of a rustic look. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I went ahead and painted the handle and I painted the inside with the brown. I went ahead and painted the home in the antique brown as well. And then I just kind of brushed over the little house. So I'm just gonna place it and see how it looks. But right now what I'm gonna do is try to see how much of the flowers I need. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, I've never bought these lavenders before, but you see how it's about to fall off? For some reason, these just are probably the cheapest lavenders I have ever seen at the Dollar Tree. Like, I've never seen them come apart like they're doing. I don't really like these. I'm, I don't like them at all. Um, I'm using them because they're the only lavender that I currently have. But as you can tell, the little buds fall off really easy. Um, and you need a lot of them bunched up together for it to look right. But I do like the leaves on this because it has kind of that... Uh, like the lamb's ear it looks like a smaller version of the lamb's ear um so what i'm going to do is just kind of see how far down i want them hanging down and then i'm going to just bundle them together but i'm trying not to move them too much because i don't want them to unravel they were quite sensitive and these petals fell off really easy so i'm going to just bundle these together all right guys so once you find out a pattern just cut out some floral wire we're going to lay this here and we're just going to lay out the pattern right on top of the floral wire here. Just like that. And just make sure that all the stems are in there kind of evenly. And then we're going to lay out these on top. Just like that. It's kind of good to have a little bit of a pattern going on here. And then we're just going to take this the floral wire and just kind of tighten it and twist and then you can swing it back to the back and just to tighten it up and just kind of twist it again in the back there you go all right guys so we're going to do the bow i am going to start off with um because the burlap and the lace burlap are the same width I'm going to start off with the lace burlap on the bottom and then do the regular burlap on top and then the chevron because it's thinner on top. Um, so I'm going to make the bottom bow a lot bigger in actuality. You kind of want to try and take this and kind of measure out how big you're wanting it to be because you're going to have a three layer bow. So. I'm just going to flop it over like this. And this is depending on how many loops you want. I want two loops coming out. So you have two loops on this side and two loops on that side. Make sure you cut a little extra um, for the tail. So just make sure you cut just a little bit extra there for your tail. And then just leave that out like that. And then we're gonna place the regular burlap on top. And we're just gonna go a little smaller. That way you could see. Like I said, I'm eyeballing this. I never measure the bows out. I just kinda Try to see how big I want it in the middle and how much spacing I want from this bow to that bow and that can vary depending on your taste or what you want it to look like.
so I have all the tails facing in one direction. Um, that is on purpose just because it makes it easier for me to organize it um, when it's on that side. Now, mind you, you can use the cotton twine, jute twine, or even floral wire. I'm going to go with the jute twine instead of the cotton twine. Um, just because it will blend in a whole lot better. And once you get this, you kind of want to place it on there. And the tails, don't cut them until you got everything placed the way that you want it. Um, so I would suggest that you take your flowers first before attaching your bow. Make sure you have a little bit of jute twine and some hot glue. So you're just going to place a little bit of hot glue back here. Just going to place the bundle of flour right there, and then we're going to take this jig twine and just tie it on there just to make it secure. And that's just to tie it off so it's on there real secure, like. And then we're going to take another piece of jig twine. To tie the bow onto the center here. So that's why I said you kind of want to place your flowers on there first just so you know where the bow is going to land. All right guys so just make sure you um, tie the jig twine in the back and go ahead and just put a knot back there and make it long enough where you can wrap it around. We're just going to take a little bit of hot glue and place it up here. And that's to hold the bow down. So just place your bow right on top here. All right, so now you want to start fluffing the bow out. Just like that, and we're going to cut some tails. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're just going to see how this looks in here. I don't know if I'm actually going to place that in there. And then I was debating whether to put home here or put it inside of the shovel. Kind of want to have to go a little upwards. Right in there, just like that. Do y'all like this one better? Or do you like the home better? I think I like the home better. So, I'm just going to place a little bit of hot glue here and right here. And then we're going to place a little bit on this side and over here. And that's just going to grip the side. Just like that and hold it into place. Alright guys, I like how the shovel came out. It's real woodsy and farmhouse. I really like the bow. It came out really super cute with all the flowers and everything. So if y'all like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and comment down below. If you'd like to support my channel, please check out all of my affiliate links along with my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, and also my website. I'll leave it all listed in the description box down below. So thank y'all so much and y'all have a blessed day and stay safe.